today's adventure, we're heading out to Chloride, Arizona. That's it. <laughs> Stay tuned, watch all the way to the end, and we'll show you some stuff going on out there that's worth stopping by and checking out. Let's go. So if you hung in all the way down that long dirt road, they said it was a mile and a half. It was a heck of a mile and a half. It was a long one. <laughs> so here's what we drove all the way down here on the other side of Chloride. You just keep on going through the main road through Chloride. That's where you hit this gravel road. And we went through it really fast with the, uh, cause we weren't gonna make it go the slow way. We sped it up there. And here we are. And here's what you can see. There's also some pyroglyphics here from uh, the Indians. We'll take, see what we can see there of that. And then we'll go back in town because it's starting to get late and we'll lose the sun soon. So let's go take a look at these fine paintings. Here we go. So here's one more thing to check out in Chloride. If you want to find out some more about the history, what's the best place to go? Cemetery. There you go. You can find out about all kinds of people that lived here, how long, years, all kinds of excitement. Some we're, even have what they died of. Yep. So we're probably not going to go check everything out. We'll look in there and see if we see anything. You know, that'd leave it to your mystery to come and solve it. So here we go, we're gonna check out the jail from 1860. She came in. There's the jail, bed. Looks like only anybody living in here is some rats. Got the office. Oh, pot belly stove. Got the other cell there. Looks like it's probably just the way it was back in 1860. Same mattresses. Kind of got it all boarded up. But hey, basic building's still here. So they got a cable holding the building together. If you remember our video from up there in Sturgis, 
the uh, stone hill. Check out that gas, it's 35 and a half cents a gallon. Mobile. That one doesn't have a price on it anymore. Looks like it was a little tourist town and thing. Looked like a little tourist area once before. Now it's all marked saying it's private property inside. It's all closed up. Don't see a train anymore. bank safe there. All right, the robbers got it. Busted it open. Kind of a little interesting. Sun's getting low. My shadow's getting out there. So we're checking out the little store they have here. It's called the Mine Shaft Market. It was closed up by the county. Thought it was kind of closed up because of the COVID virus, but on the door here, they didn't comply to, you know, county regulations and they closed them up. But there's one other place that's open here, a little hotel in a bar. We're gonna stop over there and check that out. No, we're from YouTube. Good. All right. We can make you a star. All you guys right. local? Hey, uh, live in this pretty, town? Pretty or are you just visiting? I have properties. So how long you lived here? I'm back actually. I lived here about it, eh, nine years ago. Oh, not too long. I sold the property and had to foreclose it on. Now I'm back. Okay. The rest of you from around here or just tourists? Well, well tourists are the son. Yeah. Oh. My yeah. oldest son, my youngest son. Yeah. And Melissa. Yeah, so he told us we have to come back next weekend when it's really crowded and crazy. It's a little store. We got here after closing time. We got here after closing time, and so it's a little dark in here, and we didn't need them to turn the lights and stuff on. We're going to come back maybe next weekend. They are going to have some entertainment going on here. So this video comes up before the 11th and the 12th of December. They're going to have live entertainment out here at the hotel. Their rooms are all their rooms are all sold out. So we checked out chloride today. You know what, on that long ride, I really edited that down because I didn't want to show you that mile and a half that probably took us 20 minutes to get there. Who knows? Four miles. 
Uh, you know, it was kind of neat going out there. We didn't do a lot of hiking. It was kind of, it's a little higher elevation there. I think it's about 2,500, 3,000 feet up. Uh, and it was already getting pretty cool. We didn't have our jackets on, things like that. Sun but, was going down. Yeah. And you see an old Charlie dog running up the road there. Maybe he, uh, he had some idea of something going on up there, but we didn't go up there and do no hiking up there. We went up that road and we checked out those murals. You know, it was a pretty neat painting. You know, I looked on the internet and there was a lot of work. People even brought out there a crane and stuff and did some painting on that and all that. That's kind of neat. So if you're out that way, the road's not too bad. You know, if you had a car, you know, a car vet, you probably wouldn't drive down the road. But I mean, anything else, pretty much go down there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd take a motorcycle out there, or a full dresser or anything like that out that road. But uh, if I had a dirt bike or anything like that, or a UTV, side-by-sides, or a pickup truck, or an average size car, uh, that'd be worth out there. You could probably get out there and get back with no trouble. Uh, you know, we went through town. Uh, some of the pictures that we took didn't turn out. Uh, they actually had, kind of like on Main Street there, there was, a, was that a post office? And I don't know if that's where the museum was at. We never did really see the museum, which is only open from 11 to 1 on Saturday. So we didn't make it out to there. I didn't really even see where the museum was at. You know, we did find the jail, and uh, we did find the uh, restaurant there. That was a cool place. Check that out. We're going to try to maybe get out there the next weekend, which would be after this video is already out. So we'll already see it and maybe we'll let you know if it was any good or if we even went out there. Because it's going to, it's only on Friday and Saturday nights and it starts at 6 and goes to, I think they said 8 o'clock and then they're going to have karaoke after that. So, you know, if you're going to be going out there over a weekend, you might want to check ahead. You know, we'd like to get some shots of the hotel inside the rooms and stuff. And, you know, I don't know, we probably have to go out a separate day because I think this weekend they said everything was going to be sold out. So not, not a chance of seeing that. Uh, kind of in town to do some exploring, do some hiking, things like that in there, and uh, checking out that cemetery. There was a lot of, you know, we didn't film a lot of that. I showed you that one grave site with all the motorcycle wheels on it. I would think that guy was a motorcycle rider. Or he fixed them. One of the two. So, but there was a lot of really neat things like that. I didn't want to film all that because it gives you a chance to go out there. You guys can do a little exploring out there and checking all that out. So we're going to go ahead and leave you right here. So thanks for coming along today. Florida is a really cool place to go out, but just remember there is no internet, no cell service, nothing out there. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Share us with your family and friends. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Ring that bell for notifications, and we'll see you on the next video. And you can actually get to that. It's either between Laughlin, it's between Las Vegas, and Kingman. So it's kind of like on a triangle there that you can get to. If you're coming from Las Vegas, you can get to it. If you were coming down the 40 and you wanted to come over on Kingman, you could get to it really easy. Or just come over from Laughlin. So there's really a pretty good option there to get to that little mining town. And uh, it's worth the time. We'll check you out. Don't forget to see us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you in a couple days.